Hello, I'm Dr. Kemp, Hammond Doc. Today I want to talk about carbon composition resistors. Carbon composition resistors are those that are generally found in vintage Leslie amplifiers, such as the Leslie 251s, the 147s, and the 122s, and of course, uh, they are precursors, the Leslie 51s, uh, Leslie 47s, and the Leslie 22H amplifiers. Over time, these resistors are subject to quite a beating. Through the high voltages that run through the Leslie amplifiers, uh, because of vibration as a result of movement of the Leslie cabinet and simply because of tubes that short out in the sockets and um, when these resistors are beaten so much that they begin to fail, they literally will burn up and or at the very best drift outside of the range of tolerance. And the result of that is uh, the amp amplifier will not function as it should. Um, you might hear an amplifier that sounds fuzzy. Um, you, you might hear uh, distortion in the amplifier. It, it, it's, it's, it's not clear. It, won't, it will not sound clear. And so you have to uh, replace those carbon composition resistors. Uh, let me show you on my desk here, I have, a, I have a Leslie 147 amplifier and I can show you what I mean by the carbon composition resistors. They're found throughout the amplifier right here are carbon composition resistors and here's more of them okay. and uh, note let me show you again that these resistors have color bands now I've dealt with this in a previous video so you can go back and check that out but notice for example in this um, this resistor has a red red a double red band a yellow band and a silver band and that's that is a very very important when with regard to your having to replace this resistor with the proper resistor. As I've demonstrated in a previous video, I've shown you how to use uh, one of these cards uh, where you, you simply turn the dial to match the colors of the bands, and this one being red, red, that's 22, and yellow. Uh, yellow is um, has four zeros, so this is um, two hundred and twenty k. So that's two hundred and twenty k ohms. That's what that is. And so the, the proper replacement for that. would be a metal film resistor that is also 220 K ohms 
Now, and here's, a, here's another one. Now, the problem that you run into with some of these metal film resistors is that, I mean, they're great. They work great. But these new metal film resistors may not have the same color bands as the old vintage carbon composition resistors. Uh, for example, uh, the bands on this on this one is even though it's a 220 k ohms resistor, the colors are red, red, and uh, black. And um, and on this one, it is red, red, and yellow. So depending on the your, the manufacturer of the uh, metal film resistor you may or you may not have one when you purchase them that has the band uh, that that matches exactly in color the band of the original or vintage carbon composition resistor so therefore it's it's imperative that you make sure uh, that you have the uh, that you know what your carbon composition resistor code is first of all and then second make sure you have the right replacement or correct replacement now generally when you buy a bag of resistors like this it'll have written on it, on the front of the bag, what it is. And oftentimes what I will do is, just so that I can avoid errors, is I will take a, a yellow marker like this, and generally I will highlight that information that's on the front of the package so that it looks like that so that I know that I'm looking at a one half watt 220 K ohm resistor and I also have my, my files over here my little file cabinets um, the cabinets that I keep the resistors in so my resistor cabinets I have them I have those labeled and that allows me to uh, more efficiently locate the resistor uh, or resistors that I need to um, put into the vintage amplifiers and to replace the old uh, carbon composition resistors so anyway that's what I wanted to talk about today, and um, uh, I think that's, that's all I wanted to say in this video. I'll come back uh, a little bit later with another video that I hope that you find or will find informative. So until that time, this is Dr. Kemp Hammond Doc saying to you, have a peaceful and wonderful day. Goodbye.